departments of PO and applied bootening, and rose through the ranks to become professor and full member of Senate on 1st October 2004. He is professor of plant physiology. He also served as head of departments in the then biological sciences from 2007 to 2010. He was appointed dean, College of Biosciences, between 2014 and 2017, and retired from the services of the university with effect from 5th January to 2021. So please, for now, you can take your seat, sir. For now, you can take your seat. We'll come back to do the remaining. Thank you very much. Next, Professor Afolami Stephen Olaoluwa. May I ask Professor Stephen Olaoluwa Folami to please stand and move to the aisle here. You're welcome, sir. Professor Afolami Stephen Olaoluwa assumed duty as lecturer one on 30th October 1990 in the then Department of Crop Production and Crop Protection. Next on the list, Professor Reverend Onodeko Samuel Akinyeli. You're welcome, sir. Please stand in the aisle. Stand in. Professor Reverend Onodeko Samuel Akinyeli assumed duty as lecturer one in the Department of Fisheries and Wildlife Management on 27th November 1989. He was appointed as acting head, Department of Forestry and Wildlife Management, with effect from 1st August 1997 for a period of two years. He was promoted to the position of a professor with effect from 1st October 2010. Professor Nodeko was appointed as director, Federal University of Agricultural Adelkuta Zoology Garden, with effect from 31st October 2011 for a period of two years. He retired mandatorily from the services of the university on 13th February 2021. Thank you, Thank you very much. Next, Professor Afolani Caroline Afolake. You are welcome, ma'am. Please stand and remain standing at the aisle, ma'am. Professor Afolami Caroline Afolake assumed duty as senior lecturer on 13th January 1994 in the Department of Agricultural Economics and Farm Management. She was appointed as acting head, Department of Agricultural Economics and Farm Management, AE and, and N, with effect from 1st March 1994. On 1st August 1997, Professor Afolami was appointed as the acting head of the Department of AE and FN. She was promoted to the post of professor on 1st October 2003. Professor Folami was appointed as the chairperson of admissions committee with effect from 11 February 2008 for a period of two years. On 4th March 2011, Professor Folami was appointed as director Agricultural Media Resources and Extension Center, AMREC. The appointments were for a period of two years. She was reappointed as chairperson Admissions Committee with effect from 13 February 2012 for a period of two years. Professor Afolami was reappointed as Director AMREC for a period of two years with effect from 4th March 2013. She retired from the services of the university with effect from 6 April 2021 on attainment of 70 years. Thank you very much, ma'am. We appreciate you. Thank you. Next, Professor Arowolu Soyin, I your daily. You're welcome, sir. Please stand and remain standing. Professor Arowolu assumed duty as assistant lecturer on 1st December 1983 in the then Department of Chemical Sciences and transferred to the Department of Environmental Management and Toxicology, EMC. He was appointed acting head. Departments of Environmental Management and Toxicology with effect from 1st August 1997 for a period of two years. Professor Rolo was appointed as acting dean, College of Environmental Resources Management, Colem, with effect from 1st August 2000. He was appointed as substantive dean, Colem, with effect from 1st August 2006 for a period of three years. 
He was reappointed as Dean Colin with effect from 1st August 2009 for a period of two years. Professor Rolo was appointed as Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic on 19th September 2011 for a period of two years, and the appointment was extended on 19th September 2013. Professor Arolo retired from the services of the university with the from 30th May 2021 on a attainment of 70 years. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Professor Izuri Goffrey in Nandi. Well, I think he's not yet here, but we can go ahead and read the citation even in absentia. Professor GNO Izuri. Yes, sir. Professor Izuri Goffrey in Nandi has been duty as an assistant lecturer on 1st November 1983 in the then Department of Biological Sciences and rose through the ranks to become a professor and full member of Senate on 1st October 2007. He is a professor of fish pathology and health. He retired from the services of the university with effect from 26 December 2021. Next is Professor Adetiloye Philip Omoni. Professor Adetiloye, please step forward. I will next time, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Professor Adetilo Yazim duty on 4th this, July 1990 as a senior lecturer in the Department of Crop Production and Crop Protection. He was appointed as acting dean of the then Department of Crop Production and Crop Protection, now Plant Physiology and Crop Production, with effect from 1st December 1990. He was appoint, reappointed as acting head, Department of Plant Physiology and Crop Production, with effect from 1st August 1992. Professor Adetiloye was offered appointments as a short-term consultant under the National Agricultural Research Program project. Sorry, now, on 1st September 1994, Professor Adetiloye was again appointed as acting head of Plant Physiology and Crop Protection (PPCP) for a period of two years. For the fourth Hello. time, he was appointed yes. the acting head, Department of Plant Physiology and Crop Production, effective from 1st August. 1997 for a period of two years. In 2010, Professor Adetiloye was appointed as visiting professor in the departments of crop production and protection, Faculty of Agriculture, Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife. He retired from the services of the university with effect from 18th October 2022. Thank you, sir. Next, Professor Adigun Joseph Aremu. Professor Adigun Joseph Arem joined the services of the Federal University of Agriculture as a senior research fellow at the Research and Development Center on 23rd February 1998. He was promoted to the rank of Professor of Wheat Science with effect from October 1, 2008. Professor Adigun was appointed as program leader at the Institute of Food Security, Environmental Resources and Agricultural Research, ICERA, with effect from 1st August 2014 to 31st July 2015. He was reappointed as program leader crop production in Sarah for a period of one year with effect from 1st August 2015 to 31st July 2016. For the third time, Professor Adigun was appointed as program leader crop production. This was also for a period of one year with effect from 1st August 2016 to 31st July 2017. He retired from the services of the university with effects from 15th May 2023. <laughs> Professor Oluwalano Samuel Adeniro. Professor Oluwalano, please step forward, sir. Professor Samuel Adeniro Oluwalano has in duty as lecturer 2 on 2nd April 1984 in the then Natural Resources Management, now Forest and Wildlife Management. FWM. On 1st September 1994, Professor Luadano was appointed the acting head Departments of Forestry and Wildlife Management between 1994 and 1997 as Director Equipment Maintenance Center with effect from 16th January 2006 and was promoted to the post of Professor on 1st October 2004. He was appointed as the Chairman of Project Monitoring Committee from CO on 1st August 2007 for a period of two years. On 17th April 2008, Professor Luwalan was appointed as a Dean Students Affairs. On 19th April 2020, 
He was reappointed as a dean students affairs for a period of two years. Professor Luwalano was known as Babaiwe, a name he got during his tenure as dean students affairs. He retired from the services of the university with effect from 29. As a senior lecturer on 31st August 1919 in the Department of Animal Nutrition, he was appointed as acting head of the Department of Animal Nutrition between 1991 and 1997. On 1st October 1998, he was promoted to the rank of the professor. He was appointed director of on 29 April 2008. He was also appointed as Dean of Students Affairs between 1999 and 2001. On 18th September 2009, he was appointed as Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic. He, started, he statutorily retired from the services of the university with effect from 3rd July 2023. Please stand and send it now. Professor Inyola Honda Julia She joined the services of the Federal University of Agriculture Adelkusa, as a senior lecturer in the Department of Home Science and Management on 26 May 2009 and Management on 1st August 2011 for a period of two years with a fair from 9th July 2023 on attainment of 70 years. Thank you very much. Welcome. Professor Ido Michael Ayodele. You're welcome, sir. Please stand and face the center. Face the center. Professor Ido Michael Ayodele was. We are pleased. If your contributions to the progress of the Federal University of Agriculture are able to. Now we go to the next item on the agenda, which is presentation of appreciation. Um, yes, I will step up now and present the token of appreciation to you. It's not the largeness of the token that matters. But please, this... I now invite Professor David Adejare Agbuola to please step forward. Professor David Adejare Agbuola, this plaque of honor and appreciation to you for your invaluable congratulations. Thank you. To you, sir in appreciation of your invaluable contributions and commitment to the growth and development of the university as a member of Senate. Dated this Thursday, 28th March, 2024. Thank you so much, sir, for all you have done. Congratulations. Thank you. May I invite Professor Caroline Afolake Ashans. <laughs> Professor Tony Ayodele Arogolo, please step forward, sir. Sir, on behalf of the University Senate, I present this plaque of honor to you in appreciation of your invaluable contributions and commitments to the growth and development of the university as a member of Senate. Dated Thursday, 28th March, 2024. Thank you so much, sir, for all you have done. Congratulations. <laughs> May I now invite Professor Philip Omoni Adetiloye to please step forward. Sir, on behalf of the University Senate, we present this plaque of honor to you in appreciation of your invaluable contributions 
and commitment to the growth and development of the university as a member of the Senate. Dated Thursday, 28th March, 2024. Thank you so very much, sir, for all you have done. Congratulations. I now invite Professor Samuel Adenio Oluwalano to please come forward, sir. Sir, on behalf of the University Senate, I present this plaque of honor to you in appreciation of your invaluable contributions and commitment to the growth and development of the university as a member of Senate. Thank you so much, sir. For all you have done, we appreciate you. May I now invite Professor Christopher Friday Ijeoma Bonwuka to please step forward. Sir? On behalf of the Senate of the University, I present this plaque of honor to you in appreciation of your invaluable contributions and commitment to the growth and development of the University as a member of Senate. Dated Thursday, 28th March, 2024. Thank you so much, sir, for all you have done. We appreciate you. Now invite Professor Julia to Lulope and Eolonda to please step forward. Ma, this plaque of honor is presented to you in appreciation of your invaluable contributions and commitments to the growth. Of Thank you so very much. <laughs> Distinguished colleagues, um, we now proceed. But before we get to the next item on the agenda, this appreciation is actually not only for the living. Unfortunately, we have had some members of the University Senate who had contributed immensely to the University. But along the line, they've passed on to the higher end. And so, I would like to mention their names. And after mentioning their names, we will rise up for a minute silence in their honor. Please permit me to read the names. We have here Professor Michael Oluwole Ajala, who retired on August 4, 2021, but he passed on shortly after. Professor S.O. Awonone, who passed on in year 2021. We also have Professor O.A. Adeyemi, who passed on in year 2022. We have Professor O.A. Oluwato Sen, who also passed on within that period. We then have Professor O.A. Oke, who also passed on in 2021. For these are departed colleagues, May I ask the Senate to rise in their honor as a mark of honor for them.
May their souls continue to rest in peace. Thank you. We have a seat. The next item is general comments by members of Senate. As I said, we are here, Sars and Mass, our retired colleagues, because of you. We came here to appreciate you for what you have done. But then, on this side of the hall, we cannot say everything. So at this moment, I want to throw the, the issues open for the floor, and I want members of Senate to please raise their observations, make comments. This moment is a period of no holds barred. In other words, they won't come back to the department and accuse you of saying what you shouldn't have said. At the same time, all those good things that they have done for us, those good memories, this is a period for us to share those memories with them. The things that have been in our minds that, wow, we miss Professor so-and-so. Wow, we remember Professor so-and-so. Even, I must say, including those who have passed on. Please, let's say them now. The floor is open. Let me start from my right. Okay, please, let me start from my right and then come this way. Professor Gusari, the Director, Directorate of Research, Innovations and Partnerships. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. The Chairman of Senate, Professor Obi Kainde, uh, our DVCD, DVCD uh, Registrar, Professor and the Liberian, uh, distinguished member of Senate, I'm happy this morning that uh, I'm here and part of this uh, epoch-making event. I want to speak for Professor Esso Afalami. Uh, I thank God for his life. I thank God for the discipline he has instilled on us. I was one of the team leaders when he was the Tefamax chairman. And uh, the discipline on the feed then was second to none. You dare not come 701 if we ask you to uh, be on the farm by 7 o'clock. <laughs> 7 for 7. Though this was very difficult for some people to abide with. But we thank God that he will say it and he will say it, and before that 7 o'clock, he himself will be on the feet. And personally, I also have a gratitude to give to him. Because during that course as a team leader, when we are given assignment, I, as a team leader, we have to coordinate the assignment. But there was this course which I'm going to, I mean, I'm not going to mention it because of the personality involved. By the time the result was released, I, as a team leader, I was given D. <laughs> and you uh, were given. Yes, now because oh, I didn't score it. <laughs> because I will tell you why. Because the the chairman knew uh, my team leader wouldn't score this, and then we step into it, and eventually we realized where the error was. And it was too firmly by it. And we were able to get that the score that was recorded for me was not my score. And uh, you know then, there was this scheme. But thank God, all the story today. I'm very grateful for you, sir, for that uh, leadership uh, style you gave us, which is prepared us to the especially in Copeland. Um, uh, and uh, the discipline, the training you give us is part of what is making us moving ahead today. And I pray that God Almighty Allah will continue to be with you. Amen. Another beautiful thing I also learned from him, though this may look so well, we, because we normally interact, when he, anytime he was around, 
And he told me that, uh, uh, he said, how many children do you have? I told him. He told me that, oh, I also love to have many children. <laughs> but at the time, I now wouldn't want to accept that. <laughs> so, that by the way, so to tell you that we are very close and uh, we will discuss anything that has to do with academic progress with me. So I thank you, sir. Thank for you that. very much. Thank oh, you very you. much. Well, well, before that, to talk, you have mentioned an aspect of Professor Esua Falami. He's not just an academic, he's also a family life um, coach and expert. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, Professor Lauye, please, as I said, we limited the ci a brief citation. This one too, maybe. <laughs> Let's try and make it a brief too. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman of Senate. And then you have liberty to talk on different people, uh, so that we do as we want to talk about another person. Thank, Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, the Chairman of Senate. All other protocols fully established. Members of Senate, I appreciate all of you. Let me talk first and foremost of Professor Afolami. Those of us that went to Elewus, we are here. You said you want, to talk, you want to talk about Professor Afolami, oh. Steve Afolami. I thought, he you said, was, I thought you said Professor and Professor. No, I, was, I wanted to correct you that they no, both no, have no. different SP numbers. Thank you, thank you very so much. You please separate. Now, Professor Steve Afolami was my lecturer at Elewus. And some of those that he thought are members of study today. I think I'll say, Professor Kanyide Benga, can you please stand up? Professor Shodi is here. And those are part, there are still others well, that he well, thought uh, are Let me warn you, if you want those who Professor Afolami thought to stand up, I'm qualified though. Sir. <laughs> Should I stand? <laughs> okay, special. <laughs> So, thank you yes, very distinguished much. members, yes. Professor Eswa Falami taught me at A levels. Yes. He taught me at A levels. So, Professor Steve Afolami, a highly disciplinary person, and you could remember at A level, a guy would go to Ogun River to go and take samples. And all of us would be at the lab. Thank you very much, sir. And he taught us a lot of things. Discipline and how to be punctual in everything we do. And he doesn't tolerate nonsense. He's no nonsense person. But he relates well with whoever that is at least wants to be. Thank you very much. Sir. May God continue to be. Let me talk of Mama Afolami. Mama Afolami was my director, and we, have, we had a lot of encounter those days. I was the program leader of training and farm demonstrations, and it goes to a time, a guy will say, ah, Mama will not greet anybody. You need to greet Mama. Even if Mama just say, hmm. And a lot of people say, ah, Olao, how do you relate to Mama? In most cases, I decided that, okay, fine. Anytime I want to relate to Mama, I do with memo. And there was a time Mama said, ah, Olao, instead of you to come and this, I said, Ma, it is better that way. That is the lesson I learned from ministry. So there was a time Mama came to my office and said, Olao, anytime I send a memo to you, come and discuss it with me. There was one this funny day. We are expecting visitors from National Seed Council. And I went to Mama, these visitors that we are expecting. Mama, I'm to take them to the feed. I will still have another set of, another feed trip the following morning. Mama said, well, now you go and sit down. I said, Mama, let us take off from inside the Mama said, I am your director. But I said, I'm the program leader. Mama said, who is most senior? I said, the director, let us meet here before we go to Isai Legbe. Mama said, okay, take the visitors to the trip. I went on the trip. When I went to the trip, went on that trip, coming back, Mama has dropped a memo on my 
PGO. That our take home point is in the following morning. I was on the trip on that the following day. The secretary just called me that. Mama has dropped a memo in your office. So I said, Mama has dropped a memo. That is an egg is the take off time again. I said, ah, how will I do it again? I was not mobile. So I quickly rushed down to Isaac I got to Isaac Mama I started going to Ishaga already. I called Mama. Mama, Mama said, I cannot wait for you. And by civil service rule, I just sent a message. Ma, kindly permit me go, to go and do another assignment. And please release another driver for me. The name and the fake that will be taken. Mama did that. The following day, Mama came to the office. She sent the query to my table. To the glory of God, I just quoted the text message Mama sent to me. Mama said, this, you, you, you are a call civil servant. So, yes. thank you very thank much, Mama. That was the training we learned from Mama. A lot of training, discipline. And let me talk, also talk on a little bit about Professor Tony Arowolo. Pro Professor Tony Arowolo, I really appreciate you. Even my family, during the burial of my father-in-law, you are there, we did everything together. Thank you very much. Professor Olofela, PHS 364, we remember you. <laughs> Professor Adibai, you can remember. The class those days, it was not easy. Baba Uloi, Professor Uluwala, no. Anytime we go to the village on extension trips, Baba also teach even the farmers the medicinal values of herbs. I cannot say it all. All the retirees, I pray that Lord will continue to give you a lot of strength. Thank you very much. Professor Wuka, I really appreciate you. Yes. My lecturer in Kolani. Thank you very much and appreciate all. Thank you. God Thank bless you, you sir. Okay, anybody else there? Okay, I think um, Professor Lanyoju, please, we are getting to a time that we have to make it brief. Yes, and sir. You can talk about Just many very people briefly, sir. Yeah. Uh, I stand on the existing uh, protocol. I want to talk on uh, Professor Luwalano, Professor Londa, and uh, Professor Ola Tidoe. Pro uh, Ade Tidoe, Ade, thank you. Uh, Professor Luwalano, in 2004, when I joined this university, I met him for the first time on the floor of Congress of uh, ASU. To me, looking at his contribution, I was like, who is this young man? Not knowing that uh, Baba is uh, really a mentor. And ever since, we've been following his footstep. And so it was easy for me when I became the Dean of Students to look at what he did while he was the Dean of Students, the issue of taking care of portals and all of that. And we made sure we took it further to a higher level and I have what is called DSA group, and we're always all over the place. Thank you for your mentorship, sir. Professor, Mrs. Olonda, I got to know the husband many years ago, 93, 94, in our church in Ibadan, where he got married. He was invited, and ever since, I've been monitoring them. But to my surprise, recently I just heard that uh, our nurse is uh, retiring. Ha ha! Is he 70? I mean, even not in now, we are, we are just joking here. I said, uh, maybe that nursing thing really helped her. So, Prof, we really appreciate you, sir. Uh, Prof Adetiloye, this is classified, was the chairman of uh, one of the panel that tried me. Because I want to appreciate God for the diligence that he took during that time. And then, here I am today. We are still thanking God. We we'll continue to appreciate you for good mentorship. To all others, we really thank you. We can't talk on each and every one of you. Thank you and God bless. Thank you very much, Prof. And then let's come to the middle. Okay. Um, Professor Carol Levan Goshe. The Vice-Chancellor and other members of Senate, 
um, looking at all the people retiring today, I'm thinking I should be among them. <laughs> yeah, because when I look at each individual, we've been colleagues for a while, and at times I think I'm even older than some of them. I'm surprised they are retired before me. Uh, we should go and check your files, sir. Please, go and check. <laughs> yeah, let me give an example. Look at um, Professor Owuka. No white here. Look, don't, 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 don't bring up this here. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> Look at the beautiful uh, Eddie Ononda. Star 70. We are looking at, uh, we are considering maybe falsification of age. Age. I, we think she falsified her age. So, I don't really want to speak on anybody particularly because all of them, I relate with very, very well. I want to wish all of them well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, please, I'll come this side a bit. Professor Simon KUB. I will come later to the middle. Uh, chairman of Senate, sir. I would like to talk about Professor C.F.I. Omuka and Professor T.A. Aruolo and the late Professor O.O. Oluwatosi. Um, Professor Omuka was, um, came to FUNAP in 1990, almost the same time with me, but he came in as senior lecturer while I came in as lecturer too. And for him, we had two big professors in Kolanem at that time. And Professor Muka was the only senior lecturer we had in Kolanem at that time. And then those of us that belonged to the group of others were at the very bottom. Dr. Ikeobi, Dr. Biola, Dr. Biobaku, Mrs. J. A. Denowa of blessed memory and Dr. Mrs. D. Erubetine. And so for, for us that we are at the very bottom, Professor Muka was a bridge between us and the big professors, Professor Guntono and Professor Adu. And so for me, it was very easy for me to relate with them because at that early time that some of us, we needed to find our bearing, I had to go to Professor Omuka, and he taught me so many things. He taught me how to write manuscripts for publication. He mentored me on how to even um, request for membership of professional associations. And together, we traveled all over this country attending conferences, Nigerian Society for Animal Production. We went to Sokoto together, we went to Bauchi together, we went to Yu together, and several other parts of Nigeria. And this is an opportunity for me to say thank you to him. Professor Muka was chairman of SER, Senate Committee on Examination Results. And I learned a lot from him as a member of the Senate Committee on Exam Results. Professor Aruolo too was a member of that committee. And it was always fun to attend meetings of SER because the vice chancellor of Ishabo Annex, Professor Ruolo, will always be there to tell us that he's a vice chancellor of Ishabo Annex. But Professor Koje, as the vice chancellor of UNAP, in fact, he threatened him that he was going to close his domain. And indeed, he closed it. So I want to appreciate them. Professor Muka also uh, preceded me. He handed over to me as Dean Student Affairs. And I personally had a lot to learn from him. I want to thank him today. I also want to talk about Aruolo because as a friend, in fact, when I learned so much about him before I knew him, because he was always being given Professor Dedipa, the first vice chancellor, was always telling us how, um, I think it was Mr. T. A. Arul at that time, because he was doing PhD uh, in Aberdeen, 
and he was always telling us how hard-working Mr. T. A. Rolo was. And so when he came back, I said, ah, so this is the T. A. Rolo they were talking about all the while. And I want to appreciate him on this occasion because he has served this university from the very basic level to the very high, to the highest level. I want to appreciate him, Professor Rolo. Thank you very much indeed. Vice Chancellor, sir. Yes, sir. Permit me to talk about a friend of mine, someone that I knew before we came to FUNAP. He was a postgraduate student in UI, and I too was a postgraduate student, and we met together in UI, even though I didn't have my first degree in UI. But we served together in the Department of Animal Science, University of Ibadan, as teaching assistants. I was a teaching assistant, I was appointed teaching assistant in the Department of Animal Science, UI, in 1986. And I served for three years in that capacity while I was doing my PhD. And along the way, um, Mr. Oo Luatosi, Mr. Udugu, as he was then called, was appointed in my third year to be a teaching assistant. And so I worked with him for that final year of mine. And later on, we had the good fortune of meeting together again here in this university. When he came to FUNAM in 1993 to assume duties at Lecturer 2 in the Department of Animal Nutrition. Professor Luatosi, later changed his name to Luatosi, served with diligence, with commitment, and with love towards all. He was known as a gentle giant because he was tall, but he was friendly, he was approachable. He was committed to this university. And he labored for this university at the different levels or different positions that he held. He was acting HOD, Department of Animal Nutrition, at a point in time. He was acting director of Equipment and Maintenance, Equipment Maintenance Center, EMC. He was director CWS at a point in time. And he was also dean. College of Animal Science and Livestock Production from 2015 to 2018. On this occasion, sir, incidentally, it's, um, it's um, March 23, made it exactly three years. That was about five days ago. It made it exactly three years that Professor O.O. Luatosi passed on to glory. But for me, he has been a friend. I was the MC at his wedding in 1994 in Ibadan. And I'm not forgotten because as a friend, the friendship I had with him in Ibadan continued here in Abeokuta. And when I had cause to travel for my sabbatical leave in the United Kingdom, Professor Luatusi and his wife went to great extent to take care of my family while I was away, at great cost to themselves. So I want to pay tribute to him, and I know that this university has lost a gem in Professor Oluwa Shei, Oluwa Jubelo, Oluwa Tosi. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you very much. I will come to this side. Let me take Professor Ainide, Professor Idris Ainide, please. The chairman and distinguished members of Senate, um, I want to speak on Professor Esso Afolami, Professor C. A. Afolami, Mama Salam, Professor Rulu, Professor C. F. I. Onwuka, and Professor Luwalano. But I just want to say what I learned from each of them. Um, from Professor Esu Afolami, I learned discipline, doggedness, and 
uh, being a disciplinarian in a dignified way. When Baba is angry with you, you will not see hunger in his face, but you see anger in his action. So, and there is a psychological tune to it, because when you are hungry, you tend to lose a lot from your physiology. But when you are hungry and you don't show it, you will be able to carry out the action. I learned what it is to mingle, interact with junior colleagues from Baba Folami. We were students. Those of us first level of graduate assistants in the university. He took us like colleagues and he showed us the way. Mama Fulami was the HOD when I was appointed as GA of the department. She supervised my master's degree. Mama is a very nice woman. You only know that when you are closer to her. Uh, the seeming attitude was a kind of a mask to prevent people getting near to her. <laughs> yes. And um, I can tell you that she's also a disciplinarian. I was allowed to go on leave, and the following week she recalled me back from the leave. So, and then I said, I'm on leave. She said, no, look at the rules and regulations that you can be recalled from your leave anytime. That is mama for you. She, uh, she showed me what a mother, uh, what one should look for in a mother. Both of them, at least one out of the two, never missed the naming ceremonies of our children. And um, that is highly remarkable from them. Um, from uh, Mama Salam, I learned deep spirituality. Mama was deeply spiritual, and she was also a mother. Uh, I also learned that when Professor Rolo, then Mr. Rolo, and one other uh, senior colleague from the university named Witherj, were awarded scholarship for their PhD uh, outside the country in the UK. Uh, the students then uh, prayed for one of them and caused one of them. The one that was caused never came back with a PhD, but Professor Rolo came back with his PhD. The implication of that is thorough goodness. Uh, Professor Rolo is highly respectful, and you always come back, come low to the level of a junior colleague. I learned investigative problem solving from Professor CFI Oka. He's also my teacher. Investigative yes, problem solving. Yes, problem solving. Uh, I was a junior lecturer. What, in... Which was the course called? <laughs> uh, it, it, is not, it wasn't taught in the university then, sir. He taught me how to resolve uh, academic issues in the department without appearing as if I was the one that resolved it. Uh, yes, because there were cases of uh, molestation of uh, some student females, uh, female students in the department. And Professor Hoka was the dean student affairs then. And of note is that I, did what is, I was the one preparing the result. I will run to him. I saw this result, A and a few B, and then an F. It is not normal and he will tell me how to resolve it. I want to thank him for that. And um, lastly, lastly, I want to uh, talk on Professor Liwalano. Uh, there's one beauty in the way he talks. When you talk silently, you will be forced, people, audience will be forced to listen to you. And not only silent, silently, he taught me how to use the power of words. He was my teacher, and he taught me FPG then. Uh, forestry and whatever. <laughs> so 
and it was it shows concern. It is not only Baba Yahweh, it's Baba of everybody. It shows concern to any issue that you have. And I want to say that for all our distinguished, distinguished elder statesmen being honored today, and distinguished ladies, uh, elder ladies, and uh, sisters who are being honored today, I want to wish you well, and that may the life ahead be more pleasurable for you. Thank you. Amen. And Professor, Mrs. Um, a big extension. I know now. Petra. Thank you, Chairman of Senate. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, I would like to speak on Professor Stephen Afolami um, about Lualano, Professor Uka, Sisi Mama, Olonda. Uh, when I came in as a student in the Department of Agricultural Extension, I had a series of issues with my PhD work. And as at that time, Baba was uh, in PG school, I learned that you can be firm and at the same time kind. But I was kind. Um, when I started, um, I had that problem and I wanted to run to Mama. People said I should go to Mama so that I will seek uh, uh, the opinion of uh, uh, Baba Falam. As I was going, someone said, eh, you want to go there? <laughs> I, I don't think you like yourself. Hmm. So at a point, I mustered courage. And I walked in to Baba's office as a dean of PG school as at that time. The way he received me, the way he counseled me, and the way he helped me. Because when I was going, people told me that Baba is very, ah, Baba is strict. He's very firm. Oh, ah, his, his face is not, you know, the eyes is always like 12 o'clock. Oh. And I, so I was, I was so discouraged as, as at that That's time. That's another one, no? So, 12 o'clock. How does 12 o'clock I, I look? <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I was like, how, how will I do it? This one is unapproachable. The other one is the same thing. But... I met with him, and ever since, there is no day, even up until now, there is no day that Baba will see me, and he will not recognize me and greet me well. Now, let me shift on to Baba Olu Alano, my public relations officer. When I was the director of uh, Fukons, Baba announced me and my product to everybody on campus, and even beyond. He was always there. He was always advising me. He was, he was a mentor par excellence when I was a director. Um, Baba Muka, my customer. <laughs> Baba Muka will call me, um, um, Madam Petra, how would we do this? Don't you think we need to do this and do that? Um, all of them, as old as they, they, they are, they still honored me as a director. Mama, Sissy Mama, you taught us to be elegant while we are at our work. You taught us to be elegant. You taught us to enjoy ourselves, even you know, with maximum pressure that we face. Um, I would like to round up like this, that we, we, we acknowledge you. We've learned from you. And we are still learning from you. You, you, you built us up to assume whatever position or whatever responsibilities that is being given to us. Thank you very much. And I also say, kindly accept all our best wishes. Thank you very much, Sasa Mas. Thank you very much, Professor Ajayapule. Quickly, let's finish, Professor Ajayapule. Uncle to call of Sasa. What is it now? Professor Ajayapule, continue. Right, sir. I want to thank you for your opportunity to speak, sir. I thought probably I was um, uh, irregular, but thank you, sir. I want to speak on Professor Arowolu. Uh, while I was employed to this school, even though to other, other departments, he was the dean at that uh, particular point in time. Uh, the first day I, I was appointed, there was a meeting, the second day, 
I took excuse from the HOD that I was going somewhere. And the Monday, the preceding Monday, the dean called, which is Professor Hulu, that uh, those of us that are not around should come and say they should give all of us query. And I said, sir, but I've taken an excuse. Sir, I, I don't even know you're taking an excuse from me. From who? Say from the HOD. But that very warning was what kept me. I say for, this, for just one week, I've heard of query. I have to start. I have to, <laughs> I have to put my foot, my toe, my foot on the on the ground. And really, that really upholds us as a lecturer. Then I was just going as lecturer too. And then later, I transfer my appointment to EMT, of which I'm going to be his department. Fortunately, he was the one that was the chairman during my regularization. He was the chairman during my appointment also to EMT. Him and Professor Bangushi, the president is sitting close to me. I was discussing with DBC Academy today. I said, the mentorship they gave us as a young lecturer at that time, you dare not uh, wink because they are on your toe. At least uh, he will call you from time to time. He will ask you for your academics, he will ask you for your welfare, and um, other things that concern your life. And they want us to grow. And that area of administration was particularly what we learned from Professor Rui and Professor Bangushi that are sitting down here. I will see it anywhere. Uh, they, we can't do anything in our department. If you do anything wrongly, you are in trouble. And so we, we learned that, that, and that's why most, of any, most all of us in the EMT, you see that we do things we did with, uh, with caution because we know we still have people that are looking okay, at us. Okay, you not tell you. Okay, <laughs> That's my... Professor, I always tell me, so, Jekundi, where are you running to? You become a professor one day, you will stay there, everybody will come and meet you. He said, I've been a professor for so many years, and everybody, I'm collecting the same salary. So, where are you running? Just take it slowly. You will get there, all of us will get I want to thank you, sir, for that um, mentorship you gave us in the department. Professor Oka, there's no way you come and meet him that you will not laugh. He's always making you laugh, even if you're angry, and you stay with him for one minute. That sorrow will go away. Professor uh, Lana, you will not remember this, but you remember, I wouldn't know. Uh, being a dean of student affairs, there was a case. I was then the alternate chairman to the e exam. And there was a student, Pedro. Uh, I don't know what happened. And the man uh, decided to disrespect Professor Lana. And you know, if Professor Lana come to you and say somebody disrespected him. Ah, but Professor Wahi then was the DBC card and he said, he, Professor Oluana, I reported any students that the students misbehave. They know that is final. You cannot say anything because he's always a person that will stand for the students. And I learned that from him when I, I became deputy student affair. There is nothing you do to Professor Oluana. He will want to, he will want to stand for the students. And now when he was saying in the Senate, how can a student come for one? You are wasting economic resources. You are wasting financial resources. And so it's always for the students, sir. I want to thank you, and I can say that we are learning from you from, uh, from student affairs. And for all our distinguished retirees, I will thank you. Even thank though we've not mentioned your name, but we've imparted in our life one way or another. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Just to observe that while you were talking, you kept on thanking Professor Arola and Professor Bangoshe as those who really did a lot in your department. So tell us that Professor Bangoshe should have been here. Just sit back. Sit down for the time. We will look into that later. We will look into that. Um, distinguished uh, Senate members, you know, the other time I said how because I was under pressure. I wanted to move like this. Somebody, the Dean of Cold Bios, raised her hand. And um, serious pressure. Should I move like this? Okay. By popular demand, Dingo Bios. Thank you very much for your support, members of Senate. I I face such every time. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Uh, the chairman Senate. Uh, I want to talk about um, I think about five, but I want to start with my own Baba. Our own Baba, the pioneer dean of the College of Biosciences, Professor D.A. Abuola. You know, we call him Baba. Um, you know, when 
I got into the university in uh, 1997, I met with him, Professor M. Kadiri, Professor uh, Ayodele, M.S. Ayodele, and then I was the only one. Well, then it was biological sciences, so we were all together. But of course, in the Bodhni option, we were just few. And um, you can imagine me dealing with three babas. But the unique thing about them uh, was that they were very cooperative, very nice, very loving. Um, one thing I also learned from Baba Abola is the fact that Kosia in Kotema Shanu, in a human being, he believed that you could be what God has made you to be. We saw that as one unique thing. Any student, any of us get to him, he will let you know that, look, this is the way to go about it. And, you can, and to the student, you can be your best in life. Thank you very much, sir. I remember when, of course, you know, because he knows a lot of people, I tell you, Prof knows a lot of people in different universities. Well, anytime I get there, I just say, oh, you don't you know Professor Abola? I say, ah, he's my yoga. And I, later when I became HOD, you know, I was then, I uh, had to still work with the three of them and um, alongside with some junior lecturers. People came to me, how do you cope with these people? How? I said, because I learned to also be humble and they also are loving and that helped us to work together well. And one by one, they left the system. First, it was Professor M. S. Ayodele, then Professor M. Kadiri, and then we were waiting, we were just thinking, I wish you could not go, but he had to also bow out, and we thank God that he bowed out in strength and happiness. Congratulations, sir. Um, Prof never got tired. I don't know where he got his strength from. And one thing I also love about him is the fact that he looks like my dad. He looks like my dad. You know, and I, when he's talking, I see. Even when he stood there, I said, "Why?" Well, I was telling President of Jordan, ah, ah, this man looks like my dad. He thought that my dad is a bit um, taller. And uh, any time he went for accreditation, there was one time I said, Prof, ah, ah, and they accreditation. You are going for accreditation. You don't even bring anything. He said, my age, you don't worry. And from then, he started saying, giving me an car any time he came back. <laughs> he will bring up our phone and tell me, choose, choose which one you want. And that was really lovely. And then he's also unique in getting caps. Caps for all men in our college. Go and ask Professor Pokola a whole lot. And he, 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 he was and is still a giver. A philanthropist by excellence. Prof, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much for contributing to us and being a good mentor. I will move down to Professor Afolami and Mommy Afolami. Uh, many people have said a whole lot about them, but let me just drop this. I was with Professor Mrs. Afalami um, when she was chairman, uh, admissions committee. Then I was at Isalegbe uh, and Mawuko. Uh, I was the Foundation Science um, Aero program. One thing I realized about her is that she never entertained favoritism. She was, if a student needed I mean, she, she, she ensured that those who qualified got admission. There were a lot of pressure, but I saw strength in a woman that I also emulated. Mama, you really did well. God bless you for this. And um, I would say that Professor Afolami also taught me firmness and uprightness with empathy. Just like Professor Petra said, the, that face was always there. He will be firm upright about things, but he also showed care. And I say, I say that both of them complement each other. They were a unique um, couple, and they really did marvelously well for Federal University of Agriculture at Belkuta. Thank you, sir. And also another thing that others have mentioned, he will always check on my family. Uh, with the VC seated there, and me here, he would always check, how are you? I hope you are doing well. And he knows how to compliment people. He will tell you, oh, you're looking nice. Ah, keep it up. I mean, many people can attest to that. And that was for us. I think for me as a woman, even despite the stress 
that one is going through. I mean, saying, well, you know, we love compliments. And uh, when he says that, I feel good. And I say, yeah, thank you very much. I think I'm doing well. well. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Uh, Professor Mrs. Eniolorunda, like so, uh, Professor Patra said, Sisi Mama, you will look at her and wonder, is she actually 70? But she's a, a strong woman. When I was director of academic planning, she, she talked about a course. And she wanted to know why that course was removed from their department. She came, you know, and she stood her ground on it. I said, Mama, and I knew as at then, she was almost retiring. But she will come with strength and get everything done. And she ensured that that thing was returned. Mama, you did well. Well done, ma. Please keep it up. We have learned and still learning. We are still learning from you on how to keep ourselves young and beautiful. Thank you very much, ma. <laughs> Mama Salam, thank you. Uh, you got, we got to the library and she was always there for us. Professor Lualano, thank you very much for your commitment to my family, my daughter especially. We appreciate your love, your kindness and guidance on all this. Professor Wokaso, eh, Professor eh, DDS, I said it. <laughs> when Professor Lu, I mean, Wonka talks, you would not look around, was it? And you know, he will say it and then just keep straight, straight face. Very humorous. He would make you laugh. Love the sorrow out of you, and you wouldn't know that it's even the one talking. Professor, we, we miss that. We seriously miss that. I especially miss that. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate uh, Professor Ade Tuloye. When I visited my husband in the college, uh, he was always there. And um, uh, Professor Onokoya, Onodeko, Onodeko. My, my brother-in-law's children uh, went to your school and they turned out very well. And we thank you for what you are depositing in the life of the young ones. Professor Rolo, very quiet, wonderful, unique in his own way. Thank you so very much. Professor Olu Afela, thank you, sir. I, Olu Afela, I taught his, to, uh, his um, son. Samuel, and Samuel really showed that he's from a good home. And of course, Prof is a politician. <laughs> and you know that. Mm, that you know, so? let me just uh, up here. Ranging from uh, Baba CFI Onwuka to Professor Oluwatoin Arowulu to uh, Professor, yes, uh, Professor Oluwufela taught me PHS 364. A one unit and turbulence course. <laughs> and Professor and, and, and Professor Afrolami, <laughs> Professor Steve Afrolami. Yes, I want to appreciate most of those of these people seated here and those unfortunately not uh, here, whether deceased or not. Um, Professor Onwuka, I want to bless your family. It's a wonderful family. Uh, on behalf of my set, I want to, 92, 92, 93 sets, I want to uh, send you to mommy to appreciate her for being there for us when we were leaving for camp. Yes, she, it, up, they woke up to maybe 9 p.m. ensuring that all of us that night we got our letters. Otherwise, some of, us, some of us will have missed camp because we were, we were getting the results quite late. And uh, I've met him outside, Funab. is always a man of honor. And everything said about him is very true. And I appreciate you even for making uh, the coming to uh, Funab oppressor Oe Oshinowo very seamless. I was in Napri. And uh, in, in Islam, yes. And incidentally, she happens to be a partner auntie to me, and she never missed any of my children, our children. I recall that person who came when he was a DVC. He will come and start knocking on each door. I just say, make I come greet you. You know, say this one are my constituency. If I finish there, I will come back. And he will do that many times. And when there are issues, he has a way of calling you to say that mm -mm -mm, this is the way you should do it, this is the way you should go. In fact, 
uh, is one of the very, very, very strong pillar of the college. And that is why when you see Kolanim, very strong, very united, is one of those elders in the college that holds us together. And he has built up people that will take forth, or they, that, will, that will take the baton from him, even though he has retired. He has not left us, so he's still, he's still with us because he still continues to interact with us. Professor Aruulu, uh, my, I don't know how to even, <laughs> my, my comrade, comrade professor. No, we are in Senate now. Let's not go that way. <laughs> Professor Arola and Professor Woka, when you are looking for people who like to make peace, uh, the two of them, even if you don't call them, once they know there is an infraction or there is trouble, they will ask you, ah, we had this, what is happening? They will listen to you, and then they will interact with the other person, and they, will not, they are not going to rest until you have that peace. So I want to thank you, Prof. He was also our teacher when we were at the undergraduate level. Professor um, Olu Fela, uh, it's only because he became a politician. He wouldn't have known the difference between us, I, Badmos, and the other uh, professor, uh, the DVC academics, because he loves going around with people. You know, maybe, that, maybe that is the politician in him. We want people to be around him, and so he makes friends with people. We thank you so much sir, for the knowledge you have imparted. Professor Nodeko, he will speak very softly, and then you will be jabbing him. He will just be smiling. If you ask him for anything, in as much as it's within his capability, he will give you. It is only if it is not within his power that he will not give you. So we want to thank you, sir, for all that you have imparted in us. I want to say that for all our retirees, Professor Mrs. Uh, uh, Eniolo Roda, um, if you see us interacting, you will see, you will think that, uh, uh, you know, very, very charming and very um, interesting person. We, we want to thank you also. For, uh, uh, <laughs> I have not committed any infraction. <laughs> <laughs> So we want to thank you so much. Our prayer is that you will live long. Amen. You will enjoy for a long time the fruit of the labor that you have rendered. Amen. You will not fall sick. Amen. You will not be bedridden. Amen. You will enjoy all your children. Amen. And you will enjoy the rest of your life. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Quickly, time is fast spent. Uh, okay. Yeah, you, you stood up that time. Professor, I can hear me. Hold on, hold on. Um, you know, the next person I'm going to call, please listen attentively. It's probably a long time you once heard him speak, but you will hear him speak today. Dean Kolfis, Professor Akinwale. Thank you so much, sir. I stand on the existing protocols. Because of time, I just want to talk on uh, Professor Joseph Olofela, because he was honored in our last conference, we did two weeks ago. He created time and he came. We value him a lot for what he has been doing for us. He was honored, not only as a retired professor, as a great mentor, because he mentored our DVCA. And uh, he has mentored many, at least 90% of staff in physics today. We have 17 staff in physics. He has met, met more than 90%. Okay. Thank through you. him, we have peace in this department. Okay. And through me, in his initiative, we have our SciWest program score. It was one who designed for us. And uh, we went to Abuja together for the award. Only we couldn't win. He led the team to, to the NUC. He was the father to the physics department. We really value him. And uh, we appreciate him what he has done to the physics, even to the College of Natural Sciences, when we are together, and College of Physical Sciences, we are today, and to the university at large. Thank you. I really thank you, sir.
for what you have done for us. Thank you very much. At this juncture, we have to please make it just one minute. We should stop, but I know that some people are really itching. And uh, there is one of those who are raising their hands if I don't call her. Hmm. So, one minute each. HOD, Hospitality and Tourism, Professor Bakari. Please, a minute each. Let's try. Because we're still going to hear from some of our senior colleagues before we leave here. So, please. Thank you very much, uh, the Vice Chancellor, the Chairman Summit. Uh, while appreciating with the others all the comments, the beautiful comments that have been made concerning all the people that have been honored today, Senate, you please permit me to center my focus on two people Professor Emedo and Professor Tulu Enolorunda. Yes, because of time, I'll try to be brief, sir. Uh, I first met Professor Emi Do when he joined the services of the department at Isalek I think 1992. That was the time I was graduating from the university. Uh -huh. And by the way, sir, by the way, sir, you know there are seniors. The people that stood up, they shouldn't have been seated until we asked them because we are their seniors. Uh -huh. So, and as a gentleman then, he was young, and they came into the department. Then when I joined the services of the university in 2010, we had the privilege of working together as a deputy dean, serving under him when he became dean. I tend to appreciate, I came to appreciate more his gentle composure. So it is on note that his emergence as the dean called Feg then was not even by his own making. Left to him as a pastor, a gentleman, he may not even have struggled for it at all. That is the kind of person he is, development of Kolfek. I won't waste too much time on uh, my girlfriend, Professor Mrs. Tulu Enolorunda. You will wonder I said that. Because when we joined the, when I first met her, she was conscious of her age. And at that time, she said, look, I will soon leave the system. And there was a day I accosted her. I said, look, you are looking beautiful, and you are saying you will soon leave. Do you think if I met you outside and I told you, I won't go out of my way to? <laughs> and you know, that. And then, working with her, when she was HOD, and I, as the deputy dean of the college, I came to appreciate her commitment, her doggedness, the way she would go out of her way to get things done. And just like somebody mentioned, she's not, she's a giver, not even materially in every other aspect. Time will not permit to say so many, so many things that one would want to say. Thank you. I thank you for the opportunity. Thank, thank, you, thank you very you, much. Sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Prof. PRM. And then we'll come, okay. Professor Agbola next. Do you want to? Chairman, um, Chairman and uh, members of Senate. Um, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to say a few words about uh, our distinguished uh, retiring colleague, uh, senior colleagues. Uh, well, I, the chairman of CODAT made me a little bit um, jealous when he asked those that graduated from here to, to stand up. But I, I dare say that even though some of us did not graduate here from here, but uh, we have had very good interaction, a lot to learn from these distinguished senior people. We have had very good productive working relationships with them. For instance, Professor Wuka, when I was a senior lecturer, I started co supervising Bulgari students with him. He would deliberately pick me onto the supervisory committee. And from there, I learned how to supervise, how to how to train students at that level. And again, when you talk about Professor Wuka, you can never uh, um, fail to mention his humility and uh, the way he brings life into situations by his uh, This Baba is a very lovely person. Very lovely. Then I wasn't a professor. I was not very close to a professor. But he related with all of us on that uh, on the committee, like colleagues. I remember that when we got to Kaduna, 
that day. It was very late in the night. We were, he just took us to, to a place. Let's, let's go to this place. And we went to one of the biggest hotels in Kaduna. I don't know whether the person that we went to meet there was once a student or whatever. The man gave us, I think, one of the best accommodations I've ever got in any hotel since, my, since I started working. And I don't know, very good, very good uh, food, everything on his account, on the account of that person. So, Professor Onadeko, thank you so very much, sir, for being so um, friendly. And I pray that Almighty God will continue to uphold you, sir. And, and all of them, I think we, we cannot be talking, picking them one by one. Yeah. We have had very good, productive working relationship with all of you. And uh, whatever we are today, some of the things we are doing, we, we pick them from you. And we hope and pray and uh, also promise that for as long as we are here, before we retire, before we get into your shoes, we will continue to oppose those good norms that you have put into us. And I pray, Almighty God, we continue to strengthen you and uh, make you to live. It is unique and wonderful. In fact, the very first time I attended a program very close to this was about eight years ago at University of Lagos. The then head of the Department of Mathematics, who happened to be my teacher, and also a student of the department, organized something like this for our teachers that have retired from the department. And I myself and Professor Adibabu, the current commissioner for education, were invited as special, you know, students of the department. So we were there, the two of them, of course, that we were there. But it was done by the department and not the university. So I want to thank them. But it was done by the department and not the university. So I want to thank the, the vice chancellor and your members of the uh, management team for putting this together. Now, I want to congratulate the retired professors and the librarian. I thank God for your life. People have said so many things about you. But what I want to just to add is this. If you are talking of ASU UNAB today, if you are writing the history of ASU UNAB without the names of two giants, Professor Arowolo and CFI Onwuka, that history will not be complete. Because this, apart from the fact that Professor Arowolo was a vice chairman in the past, so these are the leaders we run to. They work on grand underground. Anytime we have problem, people may not know. These are the people we consult. People like Onwoka, Arowolo, uh, Erimo Selen, and the rest of them. And there are so many problems on this campus that could have led to serious, more serious problems. But these people, of course, now we call the people concerned, find solutions to it, and they will calm everybody down. There are so many problems that have led, led to so many, so many crises, but they know how they used to you know, kill the, uh, the problem and they will have the peace. So we are very grateful, sir. Now, again, I learned something, of course, now from Professor C CFI Walker, Professor Ikeobias, I alluded to it. I serve in the SCR the Senate Committee uh, Examination on Results under the chairmanship of Professor C.F. Walker. And with due respect, the chairman of Senate, we also serve together. Sorry, ma'am. We also serve together. But CFI is a very meticulous person. Extremely meticulous. With eagle eyes. <laughs> so many things that we could not see, even as young, you know, lecturers, CFI will see it. And there were some naughty issues that could have caused some lecturers their work in the course of doing uh, the vetting of the results. That CFI, of course, now we say, ah, well, even if we approve stubborn, you will find a way of it pushing you back, <laughs> and you will get that, that problem resolved. So many of them, very naughty ones. I want to appreciate you, Prof. And what we learned from him. 
just like uh, Adegua said, has kept some of us, of course, now, not that we are hard, not that we are wicked, but we have learned to be meticulous from the senior colleagues, and CFI is one of them. Mm -hmm. Again, okay. I want to say something with respect to Professor um, Onodeko. Onodeko. People may not know, anytime ASU is on strike, and we are looking for coping, these are the coping, no? Ah, coping strategies. <laughs> oh, no, they can give us millions, interest-free. <laughs> now, people, of course, now we benefit from And you never know. That we have is, known now. We, yes, have, we have known now. Now, we we'll... have made it open. <laughs> it's one of the people that we put his money down for the others to, to benefit. We are very grateful. Thank you. And lastly, to uh, Professor Steve Afalami, even though... I could I could supervise a PhD student with a professor, Mr. Falami. Where people, of course, now may say, and they say they say it also to me that when you greet him, if you don't respond, his eyes are just all, always up there. That is the way my character is. Not that I'm wicked. I know that Madame is wicked. When we are supervising the student together, in fact, she you will see her in a humble manner. So, ma, I appreciate you. And Professor Falami. Just like the Kona chairman said, we never do anything without making recourse to the whoever is the ASU chairman. At that point in time, we are very grateful. Thank and you. lastly, Professor Ade Tinoye. Finally, finally. <laughs> Professor Ade Tinoye, you may not know that he is a mathematician. As a professor of mathematics, of I can say authoritatively that Professor Ade Tinoye is a mathematical agriculturist. Yes, <laughs> go and look at him. That is not up to 70. He's happened to be my friend. I will talk about him. That is a low fella. He's, 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 he's a good mentor. If you see pigs in feces, he's the one that is behind it. Most of the professors you see in feces, he mentored them. He always had people around him. Even when he was, we call him chairman. When he was the chairman, he was the commissioner. He created time to supervise his PhD students. I give him that one. Well, I, I thank my senior brother, Professor Afolami. We are from the same area. He's my senior brother. He's a well-disciplined man. Well-disciplined man. And he believes whatever he believes, he will do it. You can't untwist him. And I'm very happy. I pray for all of them. God will be with them. Thank you. Sir, I attended the program at Ibado, University of Ibadan. I think the DBCA was there. They pride themselves. They call these retired people like they call them living legends. Living legend. That was the title. And they are always very happy. We also pray to become a living legend. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good title for them. I think Professor Kinyemi was there when we went for that function. Even when the VC was talking, he said, you see, I, I'm still not yet a living legend. <laughs> so they are living legend. And we can always bring them around yes. to help us. Professor Arowolo, Onguka, they still do a lot of work for us, maintaining peace for us, even though they have retired. But they are still part of the system. When we have issues, we call them and they respond. God will bless all of them. Amen. Thank you. Professor Mrs. Seru Mosele. Professor Mrs. Seru Mosele. Thank you, VC. Um, I promise to be brief, sir. Um, so that I will... May God help you. Amen. 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 Uh, let me start by thanking Professors Steve Afolami, Professor T. Arowolo, Professor Oluwalano, Professor CFI Onka, um, Professor Nodeko, for their friendship and mentorship over the years. Thank you, sirs. Um, to Professor D. A. Agbola, a.k.a. Fine Fine Bobo, <laughs> thank you very much, sir, for your daily prayers that you send to me. 
It is not so difficult, VC, sir, to talk about the next set of people, uh, three women that have been honored today. Dr. Mulikat Salam, Professor Caroline Afolami, and Professor Eniolonda. These women, I've worked closely with the three of them. They are very upright, straightforward, and very disciplined. For Professor Caroline Afolami, I thank you so much, Ma, for all I learned from you because I took over from her as the chairman of admissions committee in 2014. And all the rules and regulations she laid out then was what I followed, and there was no scandal of any sort. Thank you very much, Ma. <laughs> to Dr. Mulikat Salam, the no-nonsense former university librarian. She's very warm and God-fearing if you get close to her. Very hard-working woman. Mama, thank you very much. God bless you and your family. <laughs> Professor Mrs. Eniolonda, a.k.a. CC Mama, we still wonder whether you are 70. You know, Ma, you are very special to my family. Thank you, Ma. God bless you. So, Professor Olofela, the politician, special greetings from your friend. You know what I'm talking about. A fellow politician. God bless you. God bless your family. And to everyone who is being celebrated today, I wish you well in retirement. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much, ma'am. One final one. Okay, Professor Tunde Do. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Professor Tunde Do, then finally, I'm Kuali. To God alone be all the glory. We want to thank God and uh, um, to especially appreciate him, especially for those ones that are seated here today. Um, it's full of emotion for me because uh, a friend of mine, Itoxi, uh, is not here today. That's Sheyi Uluwatosi. Um, I have special name for some few of them. Uh, there is Tigzo still around. Um, Sheyi was a kind of a bridge between the social boys and the SUs. Um, and from UI, he relates very well, related very well with everybody. And um, I'd like to also thank God for my friend who has retired. Uh, when I saw your picture on the screen, I said you resembled that man of that day. Uh, <laughs> no fella knows what I'm talking about. The man in brown jacket that day. Uh, it, it's nice to celebrate our colleagues. And one of the things that I've learned is that a lot of us that are seated also need to look back and look forward. What will be the system that you'll be leaving behind? We talk about a university system that had culture when they were around. Are we going to build on it? Are we going to make it in such a way that we will also produce the like of ourselves the way they produce us? I want to thank God for my friend and big brother, uh, there are many there. Um, sometimes when you see myself and Professor Tony Aruwolo uh, struggled, and, uh, and Professor Agbola, you say you want to give me pin seven. Uh, it, it's because they took it beyond the academic world to relate. Sometimes some of my friends that are, that are Muslims, they will ask me, why am I talking to Professor Arolo like that? And I said, it's my friend and brother. There is nothing religion between the two of us. I want to thank God for Professor CFI, the humor man. Uh, I'm sure today, oh, sorry, Professor, today can the, the I go ahead now, you allow it. From the house. Yes, yes. Similarly, 
<laughs> Look, off your mic. <laughs> off your mic. <laughs> I, I, I think we, <laughs> we want to thank God for the grace upon CFI. That's what I still call him today. He's very amiable and very firm. Um, Professor Folami taught about being meticulous. Uh, <laughs> we serve sometimes together as a members probing student uh, records and it was a tough time but we stood because he was a great leader professor Wale Dikwelu is here it was a tough time for all of us even a time that uh, it was almost like some of us would be assassinated but it was for the system i want to thank god for professor Nodeko. everybody my dear sister uh, and your Lord, uh, um, thank God for the grace upon our life. Uh, finally, I want to say this. We'd like to thank God for all of them. And our prayer is that all of us that are seated will also be celebrated like them. Amen. One thing I also want to add. I remember when we celebrated the then retiring BOSA registrar and the uh, the University of Liberia at that time, when Professor Balogun was here. And I remember the comment of Tunde Lemo. I think uh, Mr. Salah went with me to his house that day. He said he didn't realize that the university knew how to celebrate people. I, I want to thank God for the way that we have celebrated them. But I want to plead, sir, that... Let's also add something. Apart from the plaque that will be put in their library or their study, let's add something that the family will be proud of. I don't know what it might look like, but something that when the family sees it, they won't see the back account. That one they won't see. But something that when they see, they will appreciate the fact that their father, their mother, or their grandparents served in the system. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Before I call the last person to speak, please permit me to say this. Thank you for the idea. But please, let me put it on record. What we're celebrating today, what we're doing today, I will be honest with you, did not emanate from me or from the management. Please permit me to appreciate Professor Esu Adeniro. Please stand up, Professor Adeniro. Professor Adenero of the mathematics department approached me and he brought up the idea. No man is a repertoire of all knowledge. He brought up the in the house in the house. And that colleague is one of my employers. She knows herself. She also joined this university over 40 years ago. That's Professor Mrs. Polake Henshaw. These two people, so actually when we talk about SPs, you see SP18, SP10. <laughs> so with that information, I want to congratulate the two of them too because they are also celebrating that in their lifetime, in, in their lifeline. They, they've been 40 years in the service of FUNAB. Professor Walid Iqbal, over to you, sir. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I thank you for this opportunity. I also want to thank you for your humility. You always refer to me as Uncle Wally every time I am in your presence. Thank you. God bless you, sir. I, I have a very poor eyesight, and I was going to move to the front to uh, talk. You can to see Mrs. Senior Leonard after the program. I, I call her Sweet 16, actually. She will link we're, you up. We're in the same day. fellowship. I call her Sweet 16 every day I see her. I want to thank every one of you that is here. Um, each of you has made a special impact in my life. I, I don't want to go into details. I know that um, a politician, I, I, I couldn't be one, so I thank God that you were able to be a politician. <laughs> Professor Nodeko was a person who came to my house with Professor C. Um, I do to preach to me to become a Christian. Um, thank God I'm... I'm, I'm 
I'm today I'm in your church, uh, Four Square Gospel Church. Thank you very much. Professor CFI Omuka, I met him when I was doing PG in UI. But there was something he did for me here in this campus that made me run to go and complete my PhD. I, I went for a meeting. He was, I think it was Dean of Dinner Affairs. He called a meeting. I was the first to arrive at that meeting. That was a mister. When the meeting started, he started greeting everybody else. Professor, welcome. Doctor, welcome. And then he, he greeted me last. I wasn't an astonished to write, but I was a mister. He greeted me last. I said, ah! I must go and finish my PhD. <laughs> uh, Professor Arowolo, uh, when I first got here in 1984, we used our first names. So I called him Tony. Even, I didn't even know what was that mean. I called him Tony. <laughs> and he, he never minded. Uh, somebody else who is now gone said, Ah, Onji ah, Obani. This is a university now. <laughs> uh, it's a very dear friend to me. Thank you very much for your warmth. Sweet 16, I see you every day. I'm always wondering how you can be 70 years old, Professor Enyeronda. I worked with her when she was in home science. I teach courses in home science. God bless you, real good man. Ababa Dede, Professor M. Oido, gentle man, gentle to the core. God bless you, sir. Um, I can't see now. Udwana, of course, uh, it's, uh, when I went to Haggai Institute, uh, it was the one who recommended me to go to Haggai Institute, Advanced Leadership in uh, Evangelism. Thank you very much. I also were on the same floor in UI, uh, block, I can't the block now. Uh, thank you. I'm always seeing you at Fellowship. God bless you. Mrs. Uh, Salam, uh, librarian. My father was a university librarian, so I relate with you. Uh, God bless you real good. Um, Professor Adit Loy, I had known your name from Ife. Uh, so when I got here, I met you. I said, oh, this is Adit Loy. Uh, God bless you, sir. And you have this um, crystal ball, crystal ball science. <laughs> I don't understand that. I, I'm, I'm, you once gave me a book. I got confused halfway. <laughs> um, um, sorry, I have to move close. So I... Oh, <laughs> Mama. Uh, very interesting. I, want to be, I hope you won't be embarrassed, my wife. Many years ago, myself, my wife, and Professor Mr. Flami went on a trip to Ibado. I was driving. And in that day, we, we yapped and made fun, and you know, we were so happy. And then the next day, my wife saw Mr. Flami in camp and said, Good morning, ma. She didn't even see, Good morning, ma. She was just. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Steve, I call him Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve, Uncle Steve I, I, I love you. you. I mean, I worked with him in the PG school. I mean, we, we would take abstracts and we would finish the abstracts. In, I mean, we sit down there all day and correct the abstracts. I mean, I, I think the President Jeans, you go and talk to him how he did it. It was wonderful. We didn't, we didn't delay students. God bless you, sir. You also gave me some books to read. Uh, you were very close to my family. Uh, there was one book you gave to me. I, I thought I had lost it. Interestingly, it appeared on my shelf again. I won't give it back to you. Uh, it's, it's with me now. This morning, I called my brother. I said, Dave. David. Uh, that's uh, Professor Adel Agola. What does that mean? But I called him David. I mean, one man. God bless you real good. I pray for all of you. My prayer is that I will get to this state that you have all got to. Indeed, indeed, we shall all get to this state that we have got to. I always remember Professor Mrs. Henshaw because she came in 1983. Uh, I met her here. Uh, George also came in 83, but he went away and came back. So I know those who are my seniors in the system. Uh, God bless you real good. Um, I, I thank the university for this because this is number seven vice chancellor. Seven in Christianity is something complete. And you can see, the, if you were at the congregation yesterday, and my head was just oscillating between expansion and, and so on. <laughs> I, I thank you, sir. I, I pray for each of you. I knew you are still going on to become a governor, I guess. Yes. We shall pray for you. Maybe I will join your party so you can get me. <laughs> I thank God for all of you. God bless you real good. Thank you.
Thank you very much. A round of applause for you. Thank you for tapping it up. Now, now we are going to the next item, which is prayers for the retired and diseased staff. Please, before we get to the prayers, the chief imam will lead, will start the prayer, and then the chaplain will also come on board. Please, we want to also just to put faces to the names that I read earlier. Our departed colleagues, we will have them. This is Professor Oke, O E Oke, who served in the Department of Biological Sciences then, now Pure and Applied Zoology. Professor Oke, may the Lord be with you. This is Professor Adeyemi. Professor Adeyemi served, Gideola Gide Adeyemi, he served in the Department of Animal Production and Health. Professor Lajide Adeyemi, continue to rest in peace. Next, we have Professor Oluwa Jube Elo, Oluwa Sheyi, Oluwa Tosin. Continue to rest in peace, dearly beloved. And then we have Professor Samuel Awunori. Professor Awunori served this university diligently. Continue to rest in peace. And of course, Professor Michael Oluwole Ajala, who served in the Department of Plant Breeding and Sea Technology. Rest in peace, sir. And, um, okay, then we also have Professor Taiwo. We couldn't get a speech of Professor Taiwo of Chemistry Department. He departed this sinful world a few weeks or a few months ago, about a couple of months ago. We also remember him today. He was a member of the University Senate. Um, well, we remember Professor Ashley Bullard, but when? You know, we're looking at 2021 20, till now. Mm. So these are the departed colleagues. So I now invite Professor Idris Ayede to please take the mic and lead us in the Islamic prayers for our retired and diseased colleagues. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Should we stand up? Yes, sir. Okay. I wanted to say that, sir. Okay. Yes. Let us stand up for prayer. Sallu ala nabi yili kareem. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Old Quran, in Surah Tuhin Shikok chapter 84 verse 19, that atar kabun no tobakon and tobacco. The man shall definitely move from stage to stage in this life as well as to another stage in the hereafter. Today, we are witnessing migration being, being as a full-fledged academic uh, to the level of a living legend, as has been said earlier. So we pray for Allah's continued blessing on the living legend during their next phase of life. I will pray that May they always be in the presence of the Almighty God, and uh, may they continue to abide with him during their retirement, so that they will continue to live a peaceful life. May the Almighty Allah guide them to choose new paths as they explore new horizons of life. May they be blessed by the Almighty Allah with strong networks of friends and families, to enjoy the journey that lies ahead. Bottom kills. May they continue to have people around them that will continue to be a source of joy to them, a source of remembrance of the good work that they have done in the university. May the Almighty Allah grant them sound mind in a sound body, sound health without fatigue. May their soul and spirit continuously be endeared towards the work of the Almighty God so that works of righteousness will be made easier for them. We also pray that they may, may their retirement not be a harbinger of death for them. May the Almighty Allah continue to make them happy in the solace of their children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and their spouses. May their life continue to be a legacy of that of goodwill, love, service, and joy in the university. We pray that may their retirement be blessed 
with the pleasure of this life and a pleasure in the hereafter. May their retirement benefit provide a worthwhile retirement for them. They will never go a begging. May they never lack in provisions throughout the days of their life. Lastly, may their tomorrow be better than their today. May their tomorrow be better than their today. May their be more tomorrow be better than their today. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa man yataki Allah, yaja'an lahu makhraja, wa yarizukuhu min haysu la yatasi. Wa man yatawakali ala Allah, fa wa hasbu. Inna Allah baligu amrihi, qadi ja'ala Allah li kulli shay qadra. Wa la hawla, wa la quwata, ila billahi la liyu lazim. Prayer for the dead legends. Allah tells us that Kullu nafsin da ikotil mot, that every soul shall taste death. Thumma ilayna to jaun, and everybody will come to him. And also, Allah also says in the Old Quran that in chapter 20, Surah to Toha, verse 55, that many are called Akinakum, Wafiya no idukum, Wamiha no kridukum, Takhratan uhura, meaning from the heart. We have created you, and into it we shall return you, and from it we shall take you out once more. They have ceased to exist in this world, but they continue to exist in the afterlife. May the Almighty Allah console the departments, the colleges, and the university in general on the death of our departed souls. May the Almighty Allah grant the family members fortitude to bear the irreparable and the irreplaceable loss of, their de of the dead uh, academics. May the Almighty Allah comfort the family members of the deceased. May the bereaved family be given the momentous opportunity by the Almighty Allah to benefit from the good works of their departed family members. May the legacies of the departed academics continue to bring good provisions and support for the bereaved families. May the bereaved families never lack any provision of this life. May their offsprings, may the offsprings of the deceased continue to be shining stars and lift up the good name of their families. May their memories continue to be that of joy because they have lived a life of accomplishment in the university. May the Almighty Allah wrap the deceased family in his love and continue to be with them all the time. For the Muslims amongst them, those who, do not, who may not have fallen into the, within the time span, may Allah overlook their shortcomings, the big and the small, the manifest and the hidden, the direct and indirect sins, the known and unknown sins, as well as the de deliberate, circumstantial, and unintentional sins. May Allah make their grave a well lighted about their shortcomings, where they will continue to receive the blessings the small of the Almighty Allah. The manifest Allah, and, and the hidden, the direct and indirect sins. What the known and unknown sins, as well as the deliberate, circumstantial, and unintentional sins. Allah may be dealing with their khayrami darin, wa halan khayrami alim, wa zawjan khayrami to be a source of pride to the university. May we continue to be a source of pride for our college. May we continue to be a source of pride for our department. May we live up to an enviable old age, full of sound health, and be able to retire like our living legend today. May our life be meaningful. May our disposition be that of a saint. May we continue to reap the, the reward of our labor in this life and even after we have departed. May we continue to remain one family in the university. May the Vice Chancellor, who 
uh, is the precursor directly or indirectly of this idea also be celebrated. May all the principal officers be celebrated. May all of us be celebrated at the appointed time. Miramatikaya Ramarahimin. Subhanaka la humma bamdik. Nashadun la ila ila anta. Wana stek fruka no tu wili. Subhana rabbika. Rabbila izati amwa ya sifun. Wassalamu ala mwisalin. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alami. Amen. Amen. The university chaplain, Professor Siu Enikeubi. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this wonderful occasion. We want to appreciate you for the opportunity you have given us to gather here today as members of the University Senate of the Federal University of Agriculture, Beokuta, to celebrate our seniors, our distinguished professors and university librarian that have worked assiduously, tirelessly, with commitment and dedication, serving this university for decades. And today, the university management has deemed it fit for us to gather to celebrate them. Father, we thank you for life and health and peace you have given these ones. We thank you for the strength, for the wisdom, for the knowledge, for the understanding that you have given them to serve conscientiously this university over the years. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 8, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. When they started their careers, they started in humble ways. They started at the very low keda, and you took them through the meal. You took them through the ranks, and Lord, you brought them to this point in time when we are celebrating their retirement and their disengagement from the services of this university. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We thank you for their lives, for all that they mean to us. We have recounted how diligent they have been, how committed they have been, and how inspiring they have been. We have recounted the impact that, Lord, you used them to make in our individual and collective lives. Father, we ask on this occasion that, Lord, you open the floodgates of heaven and bless them one by one in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we cover these ones with the blood of Jesus. We do not know the needs in their lives, the needs in their physical bodies, the needs in their families, and in the lives of their loved ones. Whatever these needs are, oh God, we ask that, Father, you will meet them at the very points of their needs and grant them the desires of their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are grateful that you sought them through the years 40 years, 30 years of service, of working for you, or even much more than that. And Lord, today they are strong, they are healthy, and they came on their own to this place, strong and healthy. Father, we give you thanks for this special blessing. We ask you going forward, oh God, that you keep these ones, keep them strong and healthy. Perfect the things that concern them, oh God. Provide for them and their family members. Father, we ask that you continue to grant them the, 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 the brilliance, the presence of mind, the strength and the vitality, the good health that they need, the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding that they need for them to continue to be relevant in, in their lives and in, the, in their families and in their communities, in their social circles, and even in the world of academia. These ones will continue to be relevant. These ones will continue to impact lives for good. These ones will continue to mentor people in good and positive ways in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that Father, none of them shall beg for bread. None of them shall beg for bread. None of them shall beg for bread in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
I pray, oh God, that, that whatever issues they are facing right now, the Lord, you undertake for these ones and solve every challenge and every issue facing them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We want to pray for those of the, our colleagues that are not here. And we have had their names displayed on the screen, mentioned on the microphone for us to hear. And we want to also remember these ones because they served with dedication. They served this university with commitment. And on this occasion, Father, we remember them. We ask, oh God, that Father, you would take care of their loved ones. Father, the families they left behind. Father, take care of their loved ones in Jesus' name. The children they left behind, they also need to be brought up in the way of the Lord, brought up in, 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 in every good way, academically, physically, Lord, materially, financially, and in every good way. Father, I pray that you will bring up their children. You will take care of their loved ones. We will take care of their grandchildren in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you thanks, O oh God. Lord, we pray for the vice chancellor of our university that you continue to imbue him with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father, as he leads this university, we pray that this university will continue to make progress. This university will continue to register Lord landmark achievements under his tenure. We have heard the testimonies of the past and we have heard the testimonies of what you have done for this university in recent times. Father, we pray the best of this university is yet to come. Lord, you will still, you will still do exceedingly much more than we, you have done for our university. Our university will continue to make progress academic progress, registering successes, registering landmark achievements, and being ranked, Lord, higher still in the world and in the community of universities, not only in Nigeria, not only in Africa, but even all over the world. This university will continue to march forward. In leaps and bounds, you will continue to make progress. The resources that are needed for this university, Lord, to continue to actualize the mandate, the tripodal mandate of teaching, research, and extension. Father, provide for this university in the mighty name of Jesus. Be they financial resources, be they material resources, be they research equipment and the facilities. Lord, we ask you, O oh God, to endow this university with every resource needed for it to continue to march forward with progress and uh, continuous achievements in the mighty name of Jesus. And members of Senate and the people serving this university, Lord, in different capacities, staff and students, Father, you continue to protect and shield each and every one of us. Continue to lead us to make positive marks in our university, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we also pray that when it is time for each and every one of us to retire and to finish our work in this university, grant us the grace, Lord, to so to be celebrated like this. We reject, Lord, any calamity befalling any one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. We reject calamities befalling anyone in our families in the mighty name of Jesus. We will finish well. The name of the Lord will continue to be glorified in our lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father. May your name be praised evermore. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. Please let's have a seat. We are gradually coming to the end of the ceremony. I want to thank you for your patience. Now on the agenda, we have responses by two of the retired members of Senate. Responses by two. And I want to say, I think I can read your mind. If we have more than two, we should be able to take that. We should be able to accommodate them. So, responses, SARS and MERS. Professor D.A. Agbola is raising up his hand. Please, you have the floor, sir. Distinguished Vice Chancellor, uh, 
members of the university man management, our senators, and my colleagues. My colleagues in the sense that the retirees in front. I'm so surprised that I'll be here today. I think about a week ago I saw the letter. So well, after about three years, okay, somebody was telling, my wife was telling me, please, you, you behave like tomboy. Make sure you wear a badder because she knows that somebody like my body mates who were born the same day, the same year. But we didn't know. Until you are registering three years ago that you want to re uh, retire. You are adding to the list of the tariffs around 2021. He said that he, he knows that somebody like Professor Avalami will be incomplete. I said, okay, go to my wardrobe, do something. <laughs> You can see how God works. Now, I appreciate the Vice Chancellor and the entire management and the entire members of the Senate for accepting the advice of one of the members who happens to be a brother, too, from the former corners. And I pray that everyone will be celebrated in the mighty name of Jesus, inshallah. My maker was telling me, that he saw me reciting sometimes. I said, yes. My grandmother happens to be a Muslim. 50% of our people in your state, in my compound, are Muslim. During Ramadan, you'll see me a different person at the end. During Leah, you'll see me a different person. So once again, I want to thank you. But to our colleagues, don't let the retirement date catch you unawares. Prepare for it. I've been preparing for this 10 years ago, but it was a bit difficult because I had passion for academics. Shortly after retirement, I was given about four years contract in Lasso. But I had to spend two years because the circadian rhythm in me was telling me that you're having too much. If God has blessed you and you have left now when your vision was loudest, the best thing is to leave. So that Madam was coming in a new VC. He said somebody was leaving. Because it was so planned that I would bring up some of these MSc students and uh, lecturers that have been lecturing for the past 10 years. You cannot do that in Funab. And they were about to be thrown out. In the Senate, I give them my advice. You can use old professors to bring them up like we did. You see, majority of our students are now our augurs to God be the glory. So please, prepare for your retirement. Those of you that say a passion for academics, the secretary in you will one day reduce that passion. And I will advise you you are in the uh, University of Agric, you have to, to, to fall upon. I have my own small, uh, what do you call it? For, uh, backyard farming, and I have some. All the, unco all the undeveloped plots, I covered them. Pineapple, something, and I brought, my last sabbatical leave was from um, University of Uyo. And I brought all these eight months banana. I couldn't believe it. Pro Produced about 20 bunches from a plot of land where I had my own house too. So I would advise you, please, don't let this retirement age catch you on our ears. And as you pray like we did, you'll be paid your gratuity and pension. I was paid, and I made sure I did the writing, gave it to insurance company, and something that is being given monthly was just close to what I was used to as a professor. So it didn't cut me on a years. Most people don't even believe that I've retired. And uh, Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, 
Anywhere you need us. We are still bubbling with wisdom. We can give our uh, self free. In the department, I can lecture. Yeah, um, University of Florida gave me an appointment, but I felt my next birthday will be 74. So please, have the best thing I can put down. So let me see at home. Come out to baby, one for one, one pack me be a So I decided to stay and thank God okay. I'm having it easy. Again, our colleagues, don't let the determined age catch you unawares. Thank you. To the management, the vice chancellor, I thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Any other one? Okay, sir. Okay. Professor Sua Folami. Well, this is my retirement uh, partner. Uh, <laughs> actually, like he said, I did not know we were born on the same day, January 5, 1951. Definitely, maybe not the same hour. <laughs> but he came and sat by me and I said, what happened? You are in the same color as I am in. And he said, have you forgotten that we were born the same day? <laughs> this letter that you wrote to us caught us on our ways, and we thought, wow, UNAB is at it again, trying to do what it always does, innovating. You know, I was looking forward to seeing everybody that I used to see, and I'm glad that once again we had this opportunity to be here. It's amazing how time flies. It's already three years that we left you. But you've not left us alone. Each time there is something to do, you still ask us to come, and we're always happy to be within your within the premises of the university and in your presence. I consider this a very special honor and privilege for us to be recalled by Senate just to tell us how much you love us, how much you appreciated us, and where we hurt you, how you have managed to forgive us and pardon us, and still find it convenient to celebrate us. Thank you very much. The Vice Chancellor demonstrated humility when he said this idea was brought forth by someone. I think we should appreciate that humility. That is also academic uh, honesty, isn't it? So we thank the Vice Chancellor and his management team and Senate for agreeing to a beautiful suggestion. I hope it has come to stay. On uh, well, I, it's not on behalf of my colleagues. Somebody wrote to say I should speak on behalf of my colleagues because there were just two persons, but the Vice Chancellor had given a leeway that whoever wants to talk should talk. So I would say, on behalf of my dear wife, the new fashionable lady, <laughs> and the one that everyone chooses to say what the very thing they think about her, uh, which makes her very, very humble. I always say that only me understand my wife. <laughs> the front she presents to everyone else is completely different from whom she really is. I think those who are close to her already know that. 
So thank you for all your kindness, for the patience of waiting till now. And then my colleagues who are also retired, thank you for coming because I have been trying to reach Philip for years without success. I have sent email, I have sent uh, WhatsApp messages without response. I'm glad that he's here today. <laughs> So thank you for letting us see one another once again. And we pray that this university will grow from strength to strength. And that the prayers of our founding fathers will always come to fulfillment in our lives. That as we grow older and you grow in wisdom, that we will keep remembering one another and keep praying for one another. And at the end of it all, when we end up at the feet of our, of, our, of our God, the maker of all of us, that we will be reunited without the loss of anyone through Christ our Lord. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chancellor. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my colleagues. Thank you, uh, the Senate. God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Uh, Professor Philip Adetinloi also wants to say something. My Vice Chancellor, sir. Um, management of the university, uh, distinguished senators, and uh, fellow retired but not tired professors and mass. I have to say something, um, even though we have spent quite some time here. Let me start by thanking the university management for this initiative. It's the first of its type, and you know, innovation should be ongoing. And so we really appreciate it. Because the moment you retire and go, people always almost forget you. And let me also thank members of Senate for the encomiums you have shared, you have uh, expressed and said about us. I, I, at the point I was wondering whether this is a martial court <laughs> when uh, I was hearing different kinds of comments. But that is just to tell you that the present will soon become the past. And the future will soon be here. And that's what we, talk, we call eternity. It's timeless. We just assume by illusion. I thank in particular those who said one or two things about me. Uh, you may be surprised that some of us might go through this system and we will leave. And not many of you will know many things about us. And that means that we need to interact more. Because some people might go through this system, you might never know them. And that is, for those who knew what I was doing, uh, I would say that as intellectuals, we were hardly able to use more than 10% of our potentials in the Nigerian university system. Highly intelligent people, you do research, nobody cares about what you have researched about, your innovations, your inventions are not taken care of because the universities are not properly funded. And I was listening to somebody, somebody maybe in Senate a few days ago, I said the, the researches that universities are doing are not relevant. Even the ones they are doing, they are, doing are you making use of what you find out in the university? I interact with people who are doing their masters and PhDs in US and Europe. The moment you are finishing your masters or PhD thesis, your findings will go for patent, and companies will go and buy it and put whatever you have done into the uh, entrepreneurial in, or industrial market. So here we are. Nobody values what we are doing. Your inventions are innovations, and that makes the university one kind of place to work in in this country. I left, when I was here, I was doing some work. Luckily, uh, the vice chancellor is aware about this. We, we produce several undergraduate thesis, masters, and PhD on it. 
but it never went beyond the four walls of the university. And so when I retired, I'm spending the rest of my time, by the grace of God, to actualize this project. And this is a project that people abroad were saying I should come over, that I'm wasting my time in Nigeria. That is how sad the Nigerian university system is. I think we should do whatever we can to get and talk to those in government to stop making our universities glorified universities where we only produce graduates that have no jobs. Can we have government to sponsor research, sponsor innovation, sponsor inventions, so that universities can also help to transform our country, just as is happening in Asia, is happening in other parts of the world. I won't want to take your time. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I've written uh, three books since I left. Uh, I'm going to donate uh, few cop uh, a set of complimentary copies to the university library. And I will also donate to my college. I don't want to waste your time. My HOD, is it here? Yes. Galileo Galilei, he came out with the idea of the earth was round, not flat. And just a few months ago, they went to the university and dug out the original paper that he wrote. Maybe 100 years in future, maybe much later. When they are, somebody might be talking about this guy, but I want to have a repository of my work where it almost all started and where I stopped the career. So, uh, Mr. Vasislosa, the university librarian, uh, it's with great pleasure that I donate these books. I have two sets. Yeah. And this is one set. It's with great pleasure that I donate these books to the University of Agricultural Library uh, for the future and posterity. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And I wish to call on my dean, Professor Atungu. <laughs> uh, because they say charity begins at home. So uh, these are the books. Uh, for the college library. Thank you. You just give me one second. Yeah. Well, uh, he was also my master's student. He wants to join us. Thank you, Professor Salao. You just give me one minute to talk about the book. Professor Agbola in mathematics said most of my works were mathematical. And so while I was doing my PhD as, at IT as a PhD research fellow, I developed mathematical models. And from there, I started seeing the link between science and religion. So one of the book titles is Religion, Science, and the Future. And then I went from there, and I started seeing what they call crop circles in the UK. No scientists all over the world knew what was causing crop circles. And these are the mathematics I had been working on for more than 14 years, which the Vice Chancellor was talking about. And I was the one that told him these crop circles are produced by the moon. And we have published that book in the US this February, How and Why We Came from Planet Earth to Planet Mars, in which we are mixing or resolving the idea of biblical creation and evolution theory. So, in future, you might hear that evolution theory is not correct. Biblical creation is somehow correct because human ancestors came from Mars. That book has been published in the U.S. this February. The other one, of course, the latest I've written is from... The latest I've written is The Devil's Template. Issue. Why don't we realize our potentials? 
And the devil's template is what has produced all these multi-million pastors who are taking advantage of people to set up churches. So read it to educate yourself. So please, sir, the books are in the university library. Yeah. They are in the college. And so if you hear something about Adetloye, whoever passed through this place, don't be surprised. Those are my works. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Probably, finally, as we round up, any other? No? Okay. Dr. Mrs. Salam would like to say some words. The Vice Chairman, oh, the Vice Chancellor, yes, Chairman of Senate, members of the management, distinguished senators, uh, on behalf of every one of us here, I want to say a big thank you. It's a good innovation, and I pray it will continue. I thank God that uh, I'm part of this. If I had been born in 1915, December, I would not have been included uh, in the list. Thank God I was born in January 1951. So, uh, Professor Idewo mentioned something. You see, when we finish having spent the best of our years, you know, in an environment, I believe when we are going, we should be honored. Though the Almighty God is one that honors one, but then, as human beings, one will expect that, uh, like in my own case, if the university library had not done anything, the Muslim community had not done anything, I would have gone just like that in the last three years. Uh, the time, the last, the one uh, Professor Idowu was referring to happened during the time of Professor Balogo. Because usually in the library we give, you know, we honor our, you know, retirees. So when uh, Mr. Gola, the former university librarian, was leaving, we had a party for him. And then Professor Balogo was invited. He was now asking, I think it was Mr. Deboye, who was acting as the registrar then, that uh, do you have plan for retirees, particularly the principal officers? And that was uh, Deboye said no. Ade, what's the name of the registrar now? Oyere De had left. Mr. Ajayi had left. And Mr. Gola was leaving at that time. He now said, Assuming the university library had not done anything for this man, he started with a postab or whatever, you know, all that, and you know, and then just leaving like that. It was then he told the registrar that the ceremonial committee should put something up. And we had a very big, you know, uh, send forth party for them at Sweet Sensation. Is it right, Mr. D uh, Professor Idowu? Aha, uh -huh. it was a sweet sensation. Mr. Oyerin Day was invited. He was represented by Mr. Ogun Ogudimu. Mr. Jai was there, late Mr. Jai, and then Mr. Gola was there. So we should be we don't get much as salaries. We don't, I mean, even when we get the pension, how much is it? But then, when we leave and we are celebrated, we feel happy, you know? Probably that's what we enjoy at, so, at old age. When you do no loan jagba, may Almighty God make us to be happy. Uh, I want to pray for all our colleagues that are still in the system. May Almighty God be with you. Amen. They will not have a one-minute stand, you know, for you when you are being honored like this. Amen. You use your hand to fill your documents for retirement. You use your hand to sign for your you know, retirement allowances and all that. And uh, for my colleagues, you will not retire into devil's hands, not in uh, death's hands, not in illness. May Almighty God, because we are, we, we are all looking handsome and beautiful. We pray we continue to be like that. 
So I want to say thank you to all of you. May Almighty God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. As we prepare to go, please something that probably we should have done earlier. You can have your seat, ma'am, but it's never too late. Um, Professor Adetiloye came with his charming wife, according to who is there? Who, who said that earlier? No, so I'm not sure. And they, somebody said, mention charming, and you were saying that you should mind this one. But I'm not minding, minding my words this time around. Mrs. Bumi Famakinwa Adetiloye is the wife of Professor Philip Adetiloye. You are welcome, ma'am. You are welcome, ma'am. She is the secretary, he said, on our local government in Ekiti State. You are welcome, ma'am. Thank you so very much for joining us. And then we also have Mrs. Fola Shade for Laramie from Mr. Ekiti. Madam, you are welcome, ma'am. God bless you for coming. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I think it's been a worthwhile time. We have come to the end of it. I want to thank you, sirs and mass, for honoring our invitation. If we had asked for you to come and you didn't show up, I trust Professor Kyle de Bangboshe, Mrs. Senshaw, they will not come and sit down here. So it's nice having you around. We, pray, we have prayed for you. The Lord will continue to keep each and every one of us. Thank you so very much. Now, my closing remarks. Nothing more to say but to thank the Almighty God that today has been a great day we have prayed the lord will answer the prayers for our senior colleagues and for every member of the university senate thank you so very much ma okay yes we will sing for and then after we will go downstairs for group photograph we will have group photograph which we can keep for the future so let's stand up for first Funabantem and then the national anthem as we bring everything to a wrap. Second stanza of the national anthem. 